Hey, uh, so my friend Mark sent me this site, uh, pointerpointer.com today, uh, and it's pretty rad, so I'm going to show a little bit about how it works. Uh, first, please remove your cursor. Place your cursor, put it in there, pointer located, pointing. Uh, do it again, move my cursor, you just wait a little bit, and the person is pointing to where my cursor is. Uh, I can repeat this for quite a while. Wow. And... Uh, they're all, you know, accurate, and it's kind of creepy in a way. Um, oh. <clears throat> all right, so I was like, how did they do this? Um, uh, so let's find out. So what I'm going to do is uh, open up Chrome DevTools. Um, first, I'll actually view source. Um, we got a pretty basic page, but we do, I do see a canvas down here. Um, and if I go up, uh, we have functions.js. Inside functions, it's look like we have a little script loader. We load in uh, jQuery bootstrap stats.js, grid, uh, Veronai core, Veronai grid, colors, point, flasher, animator, and then we kick off flasher, okay? It looks like where our um, app code is gonna be. So I'm gonna open that up real quick. Uh, let's see, flasher. Okay, cool. So, um, we got some initialization things, and then here's where it kind of gets interesting. We grab uh, gridpositions.json. Great. Okay, so gridpositions.json is just uh, a big JSON list of x and y coordinates and sources. Um, so that was done ahead of time. That's pretty kind of cool, but <clears throat> um, but somehow that's being matched. And so I want to show how that's actually being done. Is uh, so we get the grid's position JSON, and then you can see down here we populate the grid uh, with grid entries, and then the Voronoi grid. And now if I actually go over to Elements and um, see this canvas here, it's display none. Check this out. Yeah, there's this crazy. So this is a Voronoi grid, um, and. I'm only familiar with this because of D3.js um, by Mike Bostock and this amazing demo that is just has me totally entranced. Um, you'll actually see this on the .js.eu site down at the very bottom these days. Um, so this is a brand new conference in, in Paris and down at the bottom is the same kind of effect. Um, it's pretty hot. So uh, Vora and I, I, I don't really uh, how it's put together, the math behind it. <clears throat> but in this case, what's actually happening is um, all these x, y coordinates that are coming back are going into this grid system, and this uh, Voronoi grid comes back to kind of recreate. When I place my, my cursor, we find a, you know what shape that I'm in, and then we match that to one of the JPEGs. Um, and so that's essentially all that's going on here. Uh, I'm just going to bring this back. I'm going to populate the grid. Um, and then that's it. So it's a pretty cool little uh, JavaScript app um, that's doing all this fun stuff for us. And we get this really pretty sweet effect. Um, sweet use of Canvas, math, uh, and everything good. Okay.